Testing one, two. All right. Hello, viewers. I'll be live shortly. Please bear with me. Hello, it's me, and I am Auspex One Gaming. Welcome back. I hope everybody's had a good Chinese New Year. The celebrations, those who are celebrating, for those who aren't, well, hope you've been having a good and at least somewhat restful holiday. Um, please bear with me while I, you know, load the game and everything. But in the meantime, feel free to join in the show and talk to me in the chat. Except I don't have any viewers, so that is fine. But today we're going to see if we can explore more of England and hopefully upgrade some of my armors, take on a few contracts, that sort of thing. Thank you for joining. So, first things first, got to put my baby in performance mode. Two swords? No, actually... I just got the ability. Also, welcome, Clarencia. Thanks for joining me. Um, hmm, this is weird. Just a second, yeah? Um, I'm seeing the live event, but for some reason, I'm unable to play the video. So, just a second. Sometimes, it appears, we stream to the wrong video. I don't know. But just bear with me. But yeah, the game does have serious Witcher vibes largely because it's set in um, Dark Age England. But yeah, oh, thank God, it's the link works. Anyway, so here I am sitting on top of Viewpoint talking to my good friend and former student, Clarence. Yeah? Uh, I just got the ability to dual wield heavy weapons. So that means like great swords and whatnot, I can actually dual wield. And hey, the leap of faith never gets old. Kaijunity, neither do you. Welcome. Just a second while I put this on uh, performance mode. All right. Uh, I hope you guys are still able to see the screen. Um, no, because I'm driving. Nice. Wait, wow. I'm I'm glad to know that you're able to take driving classes even during the, um, you know, um, MCU and everything. They don't have any issues with that, like... A big smack. Wait, what's a big smack? Claire, I didn't get it. I don't get it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Ravenstop and uh, see about picking up a couple of daily contracts. But in the meantime, talk to me, you guys. Especially class of 2019. It has been a while since I had, like, you know, more than one of you on the stream at any given point. Man Hong stopped by a few days ago, if I'm not mistaken. You guys remember Man Hong, right? I remember when the ICT class was packed with, what, um, 27 students and we realized the lab just couldn't, even the lab couldn't take the weight, but guess what? And people kept stealing our chairs and everything. This kid is an Assassin's Creed Origins reference and a half. Always nice to see a friendly face. But yeah, um, so I do agree about. that Send they moved a little, well, a lot away from the originality that they should have had in, you know, contract for me. 
that they did have in previous Assassin's Creed games and like, somebody says that the, uh, what, I like games like The Witcher so they decide hey let's throw away all of our ideas and make games what like The Witcher today? that's kind of sad Ooh, Valkyrie items Ooh, this is from the weekly selection what is this Oh hey, I already have some pieces of the Holdefog armor. But the Valkyrie mm, looks so cool. Anyway. I will see you later, friend. So long. Farewell. Yes. yes one more. And only because you all have such good taste. They put the mimi mimi me in mimicry. This one begins. Also, I've uh, I've reduced the latency. I hope it's not adversely affecting performance. Who is? Who is? Look like else cell brain. Okay, so let's see. There should be contracts here and then here. So you know what? Let's just travel over there. I don't even know what the contracts are, but this one I'm guessing. Oh, okay. So I'm using a rather crazy bitrate. I think I've put it all the way up to 10 kbps. But that's because um, my upstream overall bandwidth is still around like... Thunder. Anyway, my upstream bandwidth um, that my service provider gives me is 500 megabits per second. So, and I get a reliable throughput of at least 400. So I figure as long as I keep it below 300, I should be okay. So it's over there. Hmm. You know what? What the hell? It's more fun to take this thing down anyway, right? The herons in this game start to annoy me. It's like they couldn't think of any other bird, so every time you pass by, I can't even make this. See that? That that? I can't. I can't even do the sound. But yeah, so I put it to low latency. Um. Hey. Is it? Is it someone moving? Oh, horses can swim in this game. So I can just slush, slush across the river. Oh, 144 megabits. Hey, but that still means... So if you're getting 144 megabits per second, that's 144... Oh, I think that's my target. Yep, that's my target. Bandidos. Hello, hello. Hey. Oh, not shot. So that's still 144,000 kilobits per second. Where's the target? Where's the target? Is he running away? Oh, that's a target. What? So, 144,000 megabits per second. Divide that by 8, you're going to get the number of... Uh, 144,000 kilobytes per second. Divide that by 8, you're, you're going to get, you know, um, how many... Um, uh, how many how many what kilobytes per second you have and then see if that's that's enough and then based on that adjust leave a little bit of a threshold in between okay so i got rewarded five opals for that cheapy cheap skate contract but hey let's see if i can't get a little better from this contract in cambridge i heard that the game is going to like get way more expansions that it's going to take us to Ireland and, and to Francia, which is France. And I really can't wait to try those, honestly. Um, if there's any issues with my stream performance, guys, just let me know. And see, um, Rajesh, this is the stuff we study in... Wait, 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 wait. No, don't get off the boat. What are you doing? Land target. 
but then the your graphics card helps as well so you want to consider things like you don't know just after this why don't i like send you a video where the guy gives some advice um even though it's mac centric it, it gives you some idea of like the adjustments you need to make also i recommend um that you move away from the basic obs and go on to uh, streamlabs obs instead i did not regret that decision like you can still do stable streams to youtube without without much issue wait is this another rescue from a bandit camp hmm? was that a bear yep from the slap that he gave what i think is a rabbit that is definitely a bear 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 Okay, here we go. Ah, I love light bows. Okay, so before you judge, I am not... Oh, very nice. So, it takes a little bit of, you know, um, uh, like tweaking around, but then like, you know... Um, the good thing is like, every time you do a live stream, you learn something new. Um, either the viewers tell you something or the experience tells you something but at the same time sometimes you have to stick to your guns like, Be careful now. like for me for example yes i have i don't get as many as many viewers as i used to i'm guessing the charm of mr lukman disappears after having me as a teacher for around five years is that guy hiding in the grass no You know what? Let's just call in a raid. I keep doing this contract so many times. Hey, What do you mean no body of water nearby? Isn't that a whole body of water? Okay, so let's call the longship first. Then see if I can escort them into a raid. This is that same camp, right? Oh man, no. It's, it's in the middle of nowhere. Poop! Okay, fine. I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. That's what she said. Smack. Headshot. Ooh. Guys, you shouldn't leave so many flammable objects lying around. Well, I've been detected. But I'm going to do the grass sneaky. And... Oh, yikes. That guy's a fanatic. And a good rest. Alright. Oh. Wait a minute. Okay, lady. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're most welcome. Lego. Come on, follow me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I have other things to do in this game. Like collecting loot and boring my viewers. right by me friend good does that mean i get paid hey okay let's find the next quest uh ooh, this is a story not gonna do that uh asgard not gonna do that either I could find all the codex pages. Visit the uh, yeah. Hey, there was one quest that said I had like four days to finish. Okay, fine. So maybe it expired. Anyway, so 
I've pledged to Sussex where I have my next story quest, so obviously I'm not going to do that. I'm already done with all of Kent, I believe. So now I have Essex and Lincolnshire to take care of. Uh, ooh, as well as, let's see. So I've covered all of Shropshire except for those impossible quests. Gloucestershire requires higher power levels. Hamptonshire is crazy. Winchester, hmm, actually quite okay. And this island is also part of Hamptonshire. What else do we have? In Northumbria, Snottinghamshire, which is it? Hmm, I wonder if it's Nottingham. Anyway. Irk, Irvikshire, Yorvik. Um, ooh, looks like a raidable camp. You know, guys, I haven't done a good raid while you guys were watching. So you know what? Let's go a Viking. So for that, we're going to follow the coastline. But the nearest... Dang, that's a lot of sailing. Well, when you guys joined me, you knew you were in for the long haul, right? So let's go for the long haul. Who's ready to go sailing? Somebody, put, uh, somebody put up the uh, sea shanties playlist on Spotify for me. Oh, the Viking shanties playlist. My mother told me someday I would buy a galley with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up on the bow. Noble pork I steer. Ooh, seals. Sail close to the heavens. Human woman. Mm, four kilometers. Oh, of course, that's not to scale. Hello, is Oh, thank you. I've actually, I actually performed in school with my students sometimes. These guys' songs are so slow. Let's hear a story. During my 19th winter, King Sirbjorn ordered the construction of a new longhouse. The splendid hall you now see at Thornburg. To build this longhouse, he employed the help of 20 men. I was among them, as was Fradi, the strongest and stoutest man I had ever seen. We set about felling trees and hewing wood for timber. Fradi was the fastest of us. He said, you bought the game? Trees, well, only two days. sleepers for the week, right? A spindly man called Narf Did you play the first one? On his first tree. He had hacked it all the way oh, you guys better be getting some good loot from the, uh, the Chinese New Year sale. So in a on Steam. Not Straight down and I heard the Epic Store is getting Kingdom Hearts. Called out, but it was too late. Pradi had only enough time to turn and face the doom bearing down upon him. With that, he raised his arms to embrace the timber hammer. The force of the trees will pick up from there. Some sort of armed camp there. Yeah, I've already cleared this one out. Oh, okay. So, hmm. I don't know about you guys. Like, I'm, I'm not the kind of person who can play the second game without playing the first game, you know? Alright, back to the story. The force of the trees falling drove Fradi deep into the snowbank. Yet his arms never let go. Dang. He held that angry trunk as a lover. Like hounds, we scooped at the snow to reach him. We found Fradi ten feet down, alive but in pain, still bearing the tree upon his shoulder. Man, Fradi is hardcore. Yay, new fast travel point. Nice. Okay, so I'm going into parts of England that I actually haven't hit before, so I'm really glad that you guys are here to join me on my epic journey. Hmm. And we seem to be heading further into northern England where it might be cold and snowy. Hey, but are you enjoying the game? Like... What matters is that you enjoy the game. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this part of coast I haven't even uncovered, and there's a viewpoint that I haven't hit there yet. Ooh, look at those beautiful light shafts. 
I love that. I love that they went through the trouble to do that with the trees and everything. Follow the coast. Most of the water here is just wreckage. Hello, Adam! How are you? Five days what? I swear to God, if the next thing you say is sorry... It's okay, you're not... It's not... I'm going to tell you right now, it's not time sensitive. Whoa! Is it me or did everything suddenly get blue? Oh, no. You seem to have it. Cold northern waters. And this is on the other side. I haven't even hit... Okay, so I've been to Grimsby before, but not like properly. So I need to go that way. Oh, okay. Um, is it what what time of day do you typically stream? It's okay, um, solo play is, is my favorite stuff. Oh, okay, on Discord, right. So do you like stream to your friends or is there like a server where you do it? Adam? I'm gonna smack you on my smack you. I'm good. Dude, you don't have to. You need to kill and see shipwreck. I'm guessing this treasure down below. The key as well. Okay, but I'll come back to this afterwards. Um, I just want to show you guys how cool a raid looks. And since I have five viewers, you know. Oh, don't forget. Um, please check out uh, Moko by Champaka. That's M-O-C-O underscore B-Y underscore C-E-M-P-A-K-A. -A. Uh, the IB students are uh, doing fundraising for their charity efforts. They're going to use that money to make uh, masks. Uh for you know orphanages and stuff i guess or old folks homes but basically people who don't exactly have easy access to them oh nice that's cool is it? that's good at least you have a group of friends you can do that with. i have you guys um and then ooh, cold castle what is this walt disney what have you been up to all right, guys, let's go to Disney World. Oh my God, is this is this the castle, the Northumbrian castle that was featured in, uh, <coughs> sorry, the the Last Kingdom, Bebenburg? Where? Look, one of the rich temples. So one of the reasons that the Vikings raided monasteries is because that's where a lot of the wealth was stored. If they see me, this will get messy. Ooh, okay. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of guards. I'm not going to I'm not going to raid blindly over here. But hey, fishy, let's see which fish they have over here. Look at all those delicious fish. Come on, son. Have a bite. He's good for you. Anyway, check out Moko by Chimpaka on Instagram. Um, and, you know, they sell the oxen that I have uh, over there. Um, and they're selling big goodies as well. Ooh, what kind of fish is that? That's new. Oh, haddock. Okay. Wait, I've caught haddocks before. Come on, son. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. This is the raiding spot. So that means there might be a port on the other side, right? Sometimes it's all about the landing, you know? Anyway, so don't worry, I'm gonna smack these guys upside their heads. Monastery there, Eivor. Run up the sail. It's aggressively snowy over here as well. See, there has to be like a convenient landing point. A dock of some kind. Oh, 
All right, this should be good. It looks like a fishing village. Okay, this is where we part ways. Yikes. Just coming here feel makes me feel cold. I need your eyes, my friend. So I can use these to upgrade my settlement, but also there might be some good wealth in here. Well, three pieces of wealth, but still. So, guys, what do you think? Do I go in quiet, or do I blow the horn and go nuts? You tell me, I will do. Please, vote now. Silent approach? Stealthy and subtle, as long as possible. Once I'm detected, of course, I'll start smacking them. Or do I call my crew and go, ah, and then, you know. <laughs> so that sounds wrong. I blow the horn, though, but... Okay, so it's a tie, one to one. Somebody break the tie, somebody, help me. Hilf mir. Helping me. Once detected, start smacking. Okay, fair enough. So, I'm going to do the stealthy approach. It is the most AC thing ever, isn't it? And it's a, it's a good thing that these guards don't look up. And they'll respond to whistles, so that's there. Unfortunately, this is a winter zone, no tall grass. You know what, let's go with the predator bow. Bunga bunga, break what tie? Oh, the tie is uh, the vote between um, whether I should go stealthy or whether I should go uh, uh, aggro with my crew and raid. But also, uh, to my viewers who are just joining, Ryan, welcome. Um, I, I don't think I've done this on a live stream before. This is actually a monastery that's hoarding... Um, wealth that they've taken from england and well the vikings need this to build their settlements so this is about to become a viking raid but i can make it easier on my crew and this is not like picking up like mainstream loot or anything for like armor upgrades and whatnot did i get their attention oh huh. the priest's running away should at least oh, okay he's on alert you know, let's let's put him out of his misery as well. Oh crap. Okay, no aim there, it's a cover. Oops. He did. Okay. So anyway, um you guys can tell me if I if I should take the stealthy approach. Or, oh wait. It's good plunder here, but I'll need help. So these boxes are too heavy for ever to open by himself. So you know what this means? Raid. Uh -huh. Here they come. We feed the raven this day. All right, let's give our raven some food. Get to your hand. No mercy. Who's <laughs> Roda? Wait, wrong video game. Raw materials. That's awfully specific. Oh, no, you don't. Hmm. 
Nice, broke the crossbow. What are you gonna do now, big boy? <laughs> Wait, let's see if he comes back here because these archers' nets can be shot off as well. Hey, language! I'm teaching my students how to play violent video games. Ow! Oh, have your guts out. I can't turn this any. Alright, gotcha. Okay, you know what, let's sabotage this thing so that they don't use it against my crew. Also, yes, I understand that this particular raid was underwhelming. Because this location itself is very uninteresting, I'm so sorry. Hmm. Only if we put it, if we work together. Thanks, big guy. Oh boy, here it is. Need help? What the? <laughs> Well, the game still has some glitches to overcome, but hey. Watch out, he's about to counter-attack, dude. Bam! You can tell from the sounds and how squelchy they are. Return to sender. Thanks. Calling yellow, I'm brown. What's going on? Hey, can't do this alone. What's the big noise? I mean, you told me not to give them any mercy, right? Don't worry, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, so the kinsmen you see here are very interesting soldier arrangement. They're they're two soldiers who are brothers. So, see that they use combined moves. But apparently I make short work of them as well now. Yeah, because my power level is way high. No, it's okay. I wouldn't have given them any mercy regardless. This is not a lesson. This is an invigilation. My students know what that means. I'm actually a very nice person. But I learned a valuable lesson. Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. Did you see the warning? I accidentally hit an innocent person just now. And it said, like, if I kill innocent people, um, I'll desynchronize. Like, yes, Vikings, a lot of them historically killed a lot of innocent people. There's Vikings in this game also who do that. But it's just that the character we're playing as is not somebody who thinks like that. You can kill the innocent people, but if you kill more than, like, two innocent people consecutively... Um, then, you know, you'll desynchronize. Your time's up, ah. Who you calling a cur? Ooh, obelisk. Okay, let's see if this location is clear. Wow! That's not a lot of wealth. Anyway. Back 
to the ship. Okay, and this is where I believe I started the game. Okay then guys, uh, it's really cold and I drank a ton of water. So would you please excuse me? Um, being a hydro homie is good. It's just, it's not the easiest thing on the live stream. I will be right back. Oh, Clarencia, are you a Redditor as well? I actually racked up, I think, close to 3,000 karma by now. I can't recall. Anyway. But hey, I'm back. Let's continue the game. All right then, um, let's go back to, back to, back to, back to. Okay, so Lincolnshire is the next territory that I want to clear off completely. So I'm glad that you guys are with me for the uh, joy of this. Just a second. But in the meantime, also, uh, Toko, uh, I'm sorry, I missed your comment. Why Unga Bunga? Um, so I'm gonna go here, see if there's something I can upgrade. I definitely don't have the, uh, you know, the opals or, you know, in-game currency I need to buy new uh, armor, but that's okay. I want to focus on collecting the armors that are available in the game because those can be uh Oh, you should totally play Injustice 2 if you haven't already. Mm. I know, I'm a little... Yeah, totally get The Witcher. Um, I still haven't played The Witcher 3 because I want to replay The Witcher 1 and 2 and uh, make better decisions. Ooh, not stab. Good day, Eivor. Good day to you too. Who are you? Wait. Okay, so I have resources. What's left to upgrade? Um, the cattle farm and whatever that is. What is this place? Grain farm. Okay. Yeah, sure. What the hell? Nice. Ravenstop just has one more level of expansion to go. Ooh, and I have skill points as well. I know, right? Reddit is, Reddit is my happy place now. Although it should not be. Um, it's also the happy place for people with serious psychological issues. But hey, um, that's what wholesome memes are for, right? Uh, I'm going to focus on improving my bear alignment 
uh, for the time being. I've actually done with the entire Raven 3 uh, skill quest. So I'll keep Wolf for a low priority. But I also feel like today would be a good day to wear a different set of armor. So Galaglack, Brigandine, Huntsman. Hmm. I don't think I've worn the Huntsman armor yet, ever. So you know what? I'm going to do that. And I think the Huntsman is focused on range attacks. Hmm. Ever really seems to like that shade of blue. But hey, let's go. Oh, wow. Looks like I'm camouflaged for the wilderness. Not bad. And how does it look with the cloak out? Huh? Nice. I wish I could hide all of my weapons with just one move like that. Yes, I will. That that's that's one of the reasons I want to replay it. Because I want to see like how it grew from like 2007. I mean I did play it a long time ago, but I made some bad decisions, so who's this? Oh, another assassination we can find. Dummy! Okay, um, let's see. I don't know if I have um, upgrade ability from the blacksmith. Let's find out. May I see you? You like the looks of that one? Final appearance reached. Ooh, the feared spear's appearance will upgrade. You guys want to see it change appearance? Please. God, don't let the game uh, not show the appearance. Please, 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 please. Okay, here we go. Thank you for trusting me to hands with your gear. Ooh, shiny. Well, I can still enhance the quality. But the appearance does not change. At least I have a new room slot. Hey. Ah, that one's pretty good. It is pretty good. Now I need to go collect more... What is this? Tungsten ingots. You that means I need to raid powerful. in areas that have higher power requirements. So I should probably I do that. But Be let's well, clear some friend. territories first. Hmm. Can't change the color of this these out outfits, can I? No, I guess the Raven... Oh yeah, I forgot. The Raven clan wears blue fundamentally. It sets them apart from the other Vikings. Off we go. Where to, boss? Um, all right. So I'll clear Essex afterwards. Lincolnshire's power level is also 160, and I don't have a lot to do to clear here. So let's start with the town of Lincoln and then proceed upwards from there. You guys doing okay, my five beloved viewers who are here today and staying loyal to me? I love you guys. Just want to tell you, you know. Um, and it's nice that, um, what, three years after starting this, wait, almost four years after starting out on this magical journey, I can still keep it alive. What kind of fish is in that water? I don't know, but he looked big. And you know what they say about the big fish? It sails on the Ali Alio. Wait, that's a big ship. Adam, hello, again. Oh, that's a big one. Ugly, too. No, it's actually one of those standard-looking fish. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. I haven't found a single location with salmon in it yet, and I'm... I'm surprised I didn't fish here before. Now, what the fish was I doing? Anyway. I need salmon for the territory, so I hope you don't mind. I'm going to do some fishing. Is there a little salmon? Don't be a bullhead. Don't be a bullhead. It's a bullhead. Wee. Can I at least get some small brown trout for a change? Like, I need those. And hey, you know those, like, 
stupid side quests that like the villagers want and everything those things actually give you like big rewards like um for finishing some hunting quests i actually got tungsten ingots that's how i got my raven, raven armor to its to its highest quality and damn that thing is strong like like that that armor is so strong right now i feel like i'm cheating when i'm playing the game and hey you know assassin's creed has always been yeah that's a perch go to hell That fish is so common, you might might as well just call it fish. So guys, do you have any advice on how I can get famos? I want to try and get more subscribers. I want to try and reach out to the world. But at the same time, like, I want to reach out to the people I know, you know? Like, but at the same time, I don't want to do it by sacrificing like my principles i don't want to like if if i if i wanted to wanted to do a job you know if i wanted to put effort into something i didn't like i would work in a software company oopsie brown trout regular can i get a brown trout small are you a brown trout small sir please stop Come back! Please be a small brown trout. Or something other than all of the mainstream fish that I've got. Hmm. Okay, this one's got a bit of pull. Is that an, an eel or something? No, wait. What is it? A burbot. Regular. I'm not even sure if I need those. Okay, so there's more fish along the coastline. I hope you guys don't mind that I, I do a little bit of fishing, you know. I want to add some variety to this, but at the same time, like, you know. The enjoyable aspects of the grind, I still have to, you know. Ooh. Anyone here play Stardew Valley? I love that game. Also, guys, since I have five of you here, game recommendations? Is that a small bullhead? It looks like a small bullhead. It is a small bullhead. God, I've caught these fish so many times, I remember their names. Ooh! Um, on, I'm guessing you're playing Genshin on the Switch? Other? What's that like? Ooh, fishy. Oh! It's playable on an Android phone? Like... Is it me or does the game look very, very similar to uh, um, uh, Breath of the Wild? No, I don't know if it's on the Switch, that's why I'm asking. Mm. Yes, brown trout small, thank you! I'll need a few more of those though. So, I'm gonna see if I can catch about two more fish. If they are brown trouts, good. If not, I'm gonna trout slap the mission. And you know, just keep just keep moving. Here fishy. Come on fishy. Bite fishy. Good fishy. Is that a haddock? No, it looks like another bullhead. Wait, those look like medium fish. I need to target the small ones. Lumpy! Oh. Hafsa, <laughs> don't apologize. Because I was just lecturing Adam for apologizing for being late. But then I lecture Adam for apologizing. So he apologizes for apologizing. And then, you know, it, it escalates into like a whole other 
reason to like get scolded by me like but then other please please uh, don't don't take it the wrong way or anything the only reason i tell you to apologize only when it's appropriate is because otherwise people will take advantage of you okay all like there's people out there who want to look for an opportunity to get you to do something and then convince you that you're the one who's wrong don't 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 ever get pulled into that trap okay accidentally upgraded hmm oh, all right yes also also to play to play a game like genshin impact is it absolutely necessary that your character has to be one of those um i don't know the uh, and un, a very underage anime girl or at least underage looking i mean if you tell me they're like 600 years old or something yeah I, i'm going i'm going to say yeah i believe you but you know <clears throat> yep people have done that to us haven't they Oh, okay. No, I'm not going to judge you for playing as a female character, but it's like, you know. Um, I'd like it to be a strong, well-rounded female character, for example. Like, I hate it when developers throw in a female character because somebody told them that they're not doing a good job of gender representation. So, forced female character? No, that just... That's that's unfair to female characters. Don't do that. Like, like I feel like what they've done with, um, I feel like Cassandra, for example, in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I mean, in spite of the game, the character was actually okay. Who is that? Another salmon? Come to your puppy, please. Anyway, but in this game, for example, I've heard that the female ever is canon. But no, it's a trout and a big one. Like for the missions that require three small brown trouts, why don't you just why don't I just give you one big brown trout and then you cut it up into three small trouts? I don't understand. The logic of this is it. Yes, exactly. It it happens everywhere. Like like don't create a female character for the sake of having a female character. And, you know, hey, Clarencia, this is classic r slash um, men writing women. <laughs> and a little bit of, um, and a little bit of, you know, uh, uh, wrong female anatomy, but, you know. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be a restricted, uh, wait. Distrust zone? Oh, wait, not anymore, I think, because I liberated this area already. Anyway. Tree, tree, tree. Oh yeah, I mean, I guess it happens in all all media, so let's just round it off there. Wait! But yeah, like, in this one, the female ever, uh, I don't know, the, the character and like the, the, the voice acting as well is very, I don't know stone cold and plastic but not in a realistic way um like whereas in the in assassin's creed odyssey i felt that the playable male character was very very unreal um and that's one of the things i liked about assassin's creed syndicate two you get to play as uh, a pair of twin assassins so you can switch between the male and the female at any time of the game but like for example the female sibling has like powers or well she's she's a better stealth assassin whereas the the brother is a loudmouth and a rough house my god Hafsa, it'd be like if, if you and i were assassins or worse if if you if if monique and i were put in a, an assassin an assassin's creed video game like Monique would go in with all of the subtlety of John Rambo.
Okay, what's a gacha game? I hope I pronounced that right. I don't... Also, I'm just... Look at that. I got so carried away with the free running that I forgot that there's collectibles in this town. Also, let me take a closer look at that. Oh my god, there's little bits of wealth all over as well. Dang. Gotta increase that zoom factor from time to time. Wait, so... Like... Oh, is that why the game is free? Because, like, you have to pay for, like, in-game purchases afterwards? Huh, that's disappointing. And that got quickly yeah. disappointing, too. Sorry. Dang. Oh, I forgot. Now Ever, Ever has, like, this, this, like, power sprinting ability. Also, I'm gonna equip some runes on this armor because he's moving really slowly. Ooh, upgrade. Helmet! I have to remember helmet! Safeguard, range, fire, damage. God, there has to be a way to organize these things. I get that you're trying to be an RPG, but... Ooh. Uh, loot boxes. Okay, what does gacha mean? Like, you said the gacha are random. What is the gacha? I'm sorry, I, I have... I'm... I'm sorry I'm so old. But would you please teach me? I'm willing to learn. And I'm pretty sure my sister is too. Still to damage. Wait, no. Evasion? Yeah, that'll help. Armor upgrade will help as well. It's not that I get hit by ranged attacks anymore because I can just pick them up and throw them back. But hey, if it helps, it helps, right? Ah. Very chatty today, guys. I love it. I love it. Lots and lots of loot boxes. Actually, they're a bit weird. Loot boxes can be random. Cards that destroy the meta. Oh. Right. Right. Okay. That, that, that helps. Thank you. Thank you. Even if you had to use Google, I appreciate that you found the information for me. Uh, you know, because that helps. This is... I, I don't know. I feel like... Oh, wow. Okay. So, like, every time you open a loot box, you have to offer a prayer to RN Jesus first. You know, because it's always... It depends on some somebody's arbitrary random number. Okay, so there's no way to make myself run faster or move faster? <laughs> I'm talking about the game, not in real life. Haha, uh -huh, it's funny because he's a fat guy and he doesn't run. <laughs> the reason I don't run is because I prefer to stand and fight. <laughs> Running will get me killed. <laughs> well, not a fan of random number. Um... Because I feel like even those random numbers are weighted. So that, like for example, what you said is 0.04% chance or whatever. Wait, wait for me. Where'd you go? Where'd it go? Okay, there it goes. Come back! We'll lose our deposit! Wait. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No ever. God, why is this character so damn clunky?
Okay, here we go. Maybe I'll get it this time. Got it. Okay. Wait, so what's going on in the chat? But a good one is fun. Oh, okay. 5 to 15. Oh, okay. Because the characters are items that destroy the system. Right, that dependence on loot boxing, it eventually ruins it, right? That's one of the, the reasons I'm not a fan of mobile gaming in general. Like, it's either that or... And it's a... Oh, it's coming company as well. Dang. But yeah, the problem is like we've gone and created the demand for this kind of stuff, right? For the simple reason that there's people willing to pay. There's people willing to pre-order games. Um, companies know that they can take advantage of that. So what they do is, um, you know, um, they promise a launch date. But then instead they give us like, you know, for that promised launch date, they the, the trade-off is that we get a really crappy product. So question is like are we willing to make that sacrifice all the time so, you know, I feel like that that stays with us forever well not forever but like because and like you know and like we, we've seen this this kind of stuff before right uh, Rajesh like when remember when you when you were in like you told me about how like your some of your classmates are the kind of people who pay like 600 bucks for, for knife skins in CSGO. Same logic. Right, so these guards are not gonna bother me. Uh, they're busy getting drunk. Top security you have here, guys. Alright, this entire area was blocked off to me before. That's why like, I had to be careful. They had guards on the walls and everything. Anyway, Rajesh, what did they do to get, you know, like, branded as a scummy company? By you, but, you know, still, it counts. But I've heard of so many and I've heard of like I've read memes of like well I mean you know um, to every meme there's a truth right I've I've read about like oh goody drunkard um, I've read about like people uh, about like kids who play on the who who have access to their parents like credit cards and stuff and then they max max out the credit card Those guys are lit for me now. Dang it, I fire one arrow. Sneaky. Ooh. Okay. Looted the chest without being detected. That's something. So I feel like a proper one-time purchase is something I can get behind. I will be okay with it. I will condone it, support it, what have you. You know, you do your thing. That that makes perfect sense. But um, I really don't like the microtransaction system, you know. And like they've done it with this game as well. Like, but the thing is like, 
I know in my heart I don't really need it because like that that one suit of armor in this game is like is devastatingly strong and what we're paying for is essentially the the change in appearance which I still consider kind of unnecessary So what's meta then? Like in this context, what does it mean? Grim, I do not envy you the position you are in with Lincolnshire. I lead Grimsby simply enough. But the truth of fate and Bruce the ego of not one but three men. It's not how we Danes should be spending our precious days. I'm not above unpleasant work. I do what's needed for my settlement and its people. Better than most, my friend. I wish you good fortune in the times ahead. Oh, right, right, right. So, like, the, the playable characters are the ones you can use to grind, but not necessarily to, like, pl to, to play all the way to the end of the game, like, powerfully enough. Is, is that what you're saying? I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, Dane. Oh, okay. Hunvald, Elderman of Lincolnshire. It does have a lordly ring, does it not? <laughs> like the name itself was a holy notch waiting for the right peg to fill the space. And how do you find your responsibilities? Well, answering complaints and levying taxes are a bore, to be honest. But the spirit of an elderman flows Ooh. in my veins. I shall find a foothold soon enough. I like how I like how they did Brawlhalla though. I mean Indie game and then eventually Ubisoft ended up buying it. Wait, am I going the right way? Yes, okay. Is this a pumpkin patch? Yes, and like you don't have to pay to win. Okay, let's see. By now, there should be some more upgrades. Yeah. Boots. Ooh, there's an ability over there. So, ancient book of knowledge. Read that, learn a new ability. I consider that fair business. Yes. Um, because, like, every character has, like, two weapons. So, that gives you a lot of different weapon combinations. But yeah, I like, I like Brawlhalla. I've, I played it when it was an indie game way back in like 2015, even before I joined Chabaka. And then um, after that, let's see. Uh, didn't play for a while. But... Wait, what are these guys doing? They're trying to get into this place, but they can't. Because there's a key required. When that music plays, it usually means the sun is setting. Oh, 
Ho bonza. Hmm. So I need to shoot that door open. Oh, there's there's no max support for Brawlhalla. That's. Oh, is it a problem with the update? Hey, opening the roof. That's clever. So where's this key then? Wait, the key's down there. So I don't need the key? Wait, I need the key for this door, right? But to do that, I need to blow this open. And there's oil jars there, convenient. Oh, okay. Wait, how can a 64-bit operating system not support 32-bit applications? That's just, that's stupid. Like, I've been using 64-bit Windows since like 2010. And I've played a ton of, I've played and used a ton of 32-bit apps. Let me guess, it's an integral part of Apple's business model? What's this? The key... Wait, is there something readable in there? No. Hmm. I wouldn't have to break into a house like this without having some extra information, right? Unless the guy just had... Ooh, Book of Knowledge. Whee! Upgrade to the piercing shot. So what does that do? Shoot an arrow through any obstacle. Nice. Multiply damage for each enemy the arrow passes through. Do I have that? Oh, wait, I have this. Mark of death. Now I kind of like the mark of death. Well, I will say Apple is pretty amazing. Yeah, see that that and the the unfair pricing really gets me. Yeah. Wow, um, today is a really special day for me. I just want to say thank you guys so much because there's six of you here. I have six views and they're all still here. It doesn't matter why you're here. It doesn't matter if you say something like, I have nothing better to do. I'm glad you have nothing better to do so you can be with me. If you do have something better to do, however, then please go and take care of it. I'm not going to judge you for, you know, like not being here just because... You know, too bad Spongebob's not here to enjoy Spongebob not being here. <laughs> oh goody, another door with a key and the key is over there. I feel like there's an exploration mode. Uh, or like, you can set the difficulty of like discovery to different levels as well. So like, I think there's like this hardcore exploration mode where you won't see the key so... You have to like actively search for it and i don't think they even give you any clues about it i'm just playing this entire game on uh medium difficulty yeah and the thing is like you see that there's still people willing to pay for it i don't understand like it's it's like it's like willfully like actually no willfully staying in an abusive relationship sometimes is because you have something to protect I don't understand the logic snake. I really don't get the logic behind like spending money on something that is not that is not meet its value. 
I, I get really mad if, you know, like somebody takes my money and does not give me my money's worth. And it could be anything, like... Hey, don't forget, stand sold separately, right? For how many thousand, how many hundred was that? Like five hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars. Ah, finally the open world again. I can ride the horse. Your dad legit said shouldn't. Well, I'm I'm glad I'm glad you defended you stood your ground on that one. Are those bandits? Bandits! Oh goody, English and bandits. This should be fun. Hey, hey, hey! Arrow counter, I love it. Are we just about done here? I have business to take care of. No, that's what you can't save the environment like that. You want to save the environment, then you have to have some generic standards, you know. And I'm using the word because you just studied about it in computer science. Like, how are we all able to use the same internet? Because there's standards, there's rules. Why is it like so many different devices can like, for example, take Android operating systems, right? See, Android is just the operating system, but there's so many devices um, that that use Android, but like. Uh, like Apple's OS is dedicated to Apple devices only and even though I don't think that's like an environmental issue but think about it like it's an ideas issue as well right so what I'm trying to say is like you give people a chance to do what they're good at so they have access to something else okay Hasa well, here's why Apple is better for security because nobody thinks that any Apple device on earth has data worth stealing. So because of that, the risk of cyber attacks to, for Apple computers used to be low. But that same idiotic way of thinking, it means that now there's lots of se security holes in Apple devices. Oh, by the way, to those who don't know, you might notice that the person named Hafsa has a very familiar last name. That is my sister. The world's best English teacher. And the second best children of my uh, the second best child of my parents. <laughs> you will never surpass me. You can try, you can dream, but it will never happen, Hafsa. I was here first. You were good, kid. Real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see? Yeah. Ooh, whoa. Anyway, I don't know how we went from Apple to me being my being the superior sibling, but you know. I only say it because it's true. Um, no, that's not it. Also, I'm so sorry for throwing you under the bus like that. Um, but yeah, as far as I'm concerned, guys, um, you know.
more environmentally friendly, they say. How does that even make sense? No, I definitely will do. Hey. Ugh, bandits waiting for me in the bushes to avenge another bandit that I killed. Who attacked me? Like, how is that even fair, bro? You attacked me. I defended myself. In the process, I killed somebody who was related to you. Now you're gonna come after me. And then I kill you, and then you're gonna come after me for that. And then, you know, it's all this whole messed up repeating cycle. Anyway, guys, I want to take like a two minute break. But when we do come back, um, let's continue discussing this. Um, we'll be back. Wait, I gotta click on I'll be back, otherwise, it's not fair, is it? Be right back. Hey, honor among bandits. That's hilarious, man. Truly really hilarious. Anyway, I'm back. And, oh man, am I down to like three viewers now? When did that happen? No. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm glad whoever's with me is still with me. Anyway, um, those who are still with me, we were discussing uh, Apple business practices. Continue. Or we'll be discussing siblings. And their awesomeness or lack thereof. Anyway, um, I hope the stream quality is good today. Also, going to do a quick save here because I haven't done so well. Hmm. That can't be the only bandit there, can, can it? Also, do they have a dog? Crap, I think they have a dog. Oh, no, no. Sleeping bandit. Oh, that's the big bandit. Huh. Maybe they attack me from the bushes because those are the security guards or, or like the, the watch at the bandit camp. I hope he can't see me from here. Also, is that a giant oil jar? No, I don't think so. Anyway. Uh oh. 
He detected something. Uh, maybe I can climb up and get around him. Okay, I'm good to see if I can do an air assassination on him and take him down. Oh, I'm so tempted to throw one of these at him, but I'm worried I'll miss at this range. Wait, he's got another giant oil jar over there. So guys, what do you think? Should I set it on fire? Or Hey, I have five viewers again. Nice. Welcome back. Um, so guys, vote. Do I throw the gas can at him and hopefully blow the other gas, well, the oil, oil jar over there? Set the guy on fire? I may have to fight him if it doesn't do the job. Or do I get as high as possible and see if I can assassinate him from above? You choose. I kill. Also, I should collect my arrows. They don't grow on trees, you know. Guys, are you there? Guys. Horrendous. Hello. Is this stream still playing? Oh, yeah, it is. So, people, what is it? Do I toss the oil jar? Or do I assassinate him from above? I wait for your feedback. Yes, that's the idea. I want to light him on fire if possible. So do you want me to do that? Actually, I could toss the oil jar at him from there as well. So I'm going to transport it over there while you guys help me make a decision. Hopefully this does not come and bite me on the butt. Oh, I'm so diabolical. Also, my sense of depth perception is atrocious. So, fire guys, ladies and gentlemen watching my live stream, what do you think? Do I throw, try to throw this? I don't know if I can hit him because the, the, the oil jar is a rather heavy object. But if I can hit him, it'll even, it'll explode the oil jar that's already next to him and set him on fire. Causing a lot of damage which might actually kill him on the spot. Or I can try and get behind him and try to assassinate him. So that means I'll just stick him with the blade. What do you want to go for, guys? Please tell me in the comments and I will honor your wishes. Okay, I'm going to wait for your wishes for like 30 seconds. If I don't hear from you, I have to do this because, you know, I don't want to ruin the stream by, um, you know, waiting for your response as well. Uh, I don't, I don't want to, it's not that waiting for you would ruin it. It's just, you know. I don't want to like stand over here just you know picking my teeth or something while I oil jar all right so one person mentioned fire half supported oil jar so here it is I can't throw it directly at him so aim as high as possible oh <laughs> my god He survived that. Dang, he's strong. Okay, so now for the assassination. Damn it, he's out of range. But I managed to hit him though, didn't I? Is he actually going to climb up? No, he's searching the bushes. Genius. Is he going into the water? Why can't I assassinate this guy? Okay, no man. Huh. 
That's kind of boring, actually. Oh, okay. No, um, it didn't. I didn't see it on the chat. Sorry. Sorry, sorry about that, Aleph. Battle's path. What's a battle's path then? This thing. Oh, it's a it's a it's a handheld Dane axe. But nah, I'm I'm kind of enjoying using the spears. But if you guys want me to switch weapons at any point or even switch to shields, um, ooh, okay, weird. Because none of your comments got held for moderation or anything, so it's okay, Hapsa. I appreciate I appreciate every single comment. And not just if they're from you as well. Anyway, let's see if there's anything else I can take. St. Helen's Spring. Huh. Well, St. Helen. Huh, there's, there's a little bit of unexplored land over here, so I need to go check that out as well. Well, if somebody walks over him, he is, his corpse is going to explode. that like I hate those mechanics like if I'm assassinating from the grass then keep me hidden in the grass at least the double assassinate has evolved to you know Assassinate the nearest, the next nearest enemy by throwing a weapon at them. Please don't hit the tent, please don't hit the tent. Nice. Headshot. Um, you've seen me light myself. Okay, so let's see. Like, okay, so lighting myself on fire, you know what? Fine, I'll do it. Come on, Ava. There we go. Huh. Huh. Oh, I would have thought at least a little. Okay, so next time I'll just I'll just stand next to an oil jar when it explodes or something, and when that happens, I'll light myself on fire. Oh wait, can I touch this? Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Okay. Um, you could say I have been lit several on several occasions, but um. Oh wait, that big one over there. Let's try it. I think that oil jar should explode if I run right up to it. Okay, there. See? Set myself on fire. Mission accomplished. Oh, right, right, right. But then, just now, it 
No, okay, here's the thing, Aleph. If a comment was held for moderation, I would still see it as the person who is streaming. And a lot of your comments actually, I like, okay, so first of all, I think your comments have only been held for moderation about like two or three times. And in two out of those three cases, I think I allowed them. I did actually. What the? How good are you more bandits? Uh, I don't have time for you guys. Ooh, nice and bright and sunny. So this is the unexplored area that I had not explored. Huh. Oh, kind of disappointing if you ask me. I hear seagulls. Anyway, let's see if... Oh, okay. So there's a bit of discovery involved over there as well. Okay, so I'm going to get that. And then go over here and over here. Not in any particular order. But yeah, I haven't stopped, like, I haven't, I haven't filtered any of your comments out as much. But, hey, Hafsa, thanks for helping to clarify that. I, w I wasn't thinking along those lines. Ooh, cows and sheep. They got the English landscape right, though. Like. Um, hmm. I think I don't I don't think it goes against YouTube's policy if if I allow it. I think YouTube will censor or look at what I say or if somebody else reports the comment or something. Well. Oh dear god. Do you hear that guy laughing? A oh, goodie. Maniacs. some slightly challenging enemies. Ooh, murderers. These are like advanced bandit bandit militia. Hiding in the bushes using smoke bombs. In the actual scenario, the head would have flown off. At least now we're talking. Enemies I didn't like fully have to like slice through or nothing. Okay, so go to the nearest objectives. Collectible, side mission, and whatever that is. Oil jar. Clarencia, would you prefer that I use the word amphora? Also, Claire, are you are you done playing Unity? It's gonna be a while before I pick up Unity again because I want to I want to finish Valhalla. And like I said, they're expanding the game, but if you still keep it in your computer and, you know, someday you you still need a um, friend for, uh, for co-op missions, please, holler at your boy. See, like, what is going on? But the YouTube's, like, chat feature still needs a bit of work, I guess. 
Oh goody, cursed ground again. Cover your eyes, guys. This is gonna get this land bears deep affliction. Affliction alright. Didn't this used to be a church? Anyway, let's get up there and see what That's taken care of. <laughs> oh crap, I just realized this area was full of ravens when it was cursed. I'll have hunt ravens at some other point in time. Ooh, Bioshock. Uh, did you play the first two? What is this? You have the wrong man. I've never heard of a Hoonwald. I can't even properly say the name. Is it Hoonwald or Hunwald? Running out the ground, beetles. Wait, who are you and where are you? Arrows and a note. This notice is a demand for the swift capture of Hunwald. But I already finished Lord, uh, helped Lord Hunwald in another mission. So... Is the mission glitched? Hey, wait, but now you have your omen, you can play them, right? And a Bioshock has jump scares. Like, when the when the mutants come running at you in the first game itself, I freaked out. I was like, crap, they didn't tell me it was a horror game. Okay, so it's supposedly on ground level. Was he with those soldiers? Be my eyes, Sunan. Bet not be a cow or something. I've told you my name is not Hoonwald, it's Roderick. And I've told you to shut your flappers. So, was was he the kid with the was he with the gods or something? Ugh, I'm so confused. Yeah, uh, I mean, I guess you could use your Mac to be the streaming device. Um, but now that you have a good computer, Rajesh, you might as well, you know. Anyway, so I'm going to quit on this one because I have no clue. Okay, are you finally going to walk down here and attack me or something? You're right. Where's the prisoner? 
concern is this to you? All right, so I have to beat up those soldiers. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so the mission is probably glitched, so I'm going to ignore this and move on to the Lindsay Mill, where there appears to be some form of wealth. Wait. Oh, there he is! Okay. Sheesh. Wait, but he is dressed exactly like Humboldt. Oh, he's ruffled some feathers, that much is clear. Do you know him? Yes, I, I put him in power. Then the Lord truly is watching over me. Right place, right time. Thanks for saving my neck, stranger. I pray I can return the favor someday. Why would he teleport all the way here? Oh my god. Damn it. Why do I... <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop trying for now. Uh, better to try and hit them while they're on the ground. Hey. Why does this mill look proper deforested slash abandoned? Bandits make campy or something. You know what? Snuff who out one now? You say something? I've actually seen videos of people somehow managing to stream on Max. I, I don't know how they do it. My belief is mine. None of my business. All I know is you'll never catch me dead using a map. Trades are one thing to settling our lands, though. We'll have to make it deadly to them, or we'll really be in peril of our souls. Well, they heard the assassination. Come on, investigate. What's all that about? Or better yet. Hey, what's going on? Ooh, a note? 
Yeah, Lord Homeworld. This stuff is story related, so I'm just gonna ignore that. Um, because I've, it's it's references to parts of the story I've already cleared. Best to keep that cloak up. But oh. Hey! No, you don't! No, you don't! Ah, killer counter. Okay, gracias, Claire. Because there is a lot to unlock in that, it's so particularly the... Uh, I, I was... I was... I was astounded by the number of, like different outfits that you could get in that game stop screaming in old english Ooh, untouched viewpoint ow 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 what's this no Anyway, let's see if I can synchronize this viewpoint, and after that, I think I will end the stream for today. Lastly, because I'm very hungry already, because um, I didn't have the most filling of lunches. Not complaining, it's just that, you know, without breakfast, it actually makes a difference. Uh, also, because it's almost 7 o'clock, and I'm going to use live streaming as a means of controlling the amount of time I spend gaming, because particularly with Valhalla, you can get, like, you can stay in the game and not get anywhere. So, yeah, that's mainly it. Also, I don't want to take more than two hours of my viewers' time. That being said, you have any suggestions, ideas, and whatnot for me, hit me up in the comments. Uh, but yeah, before you go, please don't forget to hit like. Um, ooh, this place is foggy. Is there a large animal here, a box? Wait, I think I killed the giant animals in this place, right? Was it the, the, the triage of, like, massive wolves? The insane dog was, well, the rabbit dog was in East Anglia. It's a misty forest, but still, I like it. Oh, and those mountains look breathtaking. Glad you were here, Clarence. Yeah, like, if if this is the only way we're, we're left to keep in touch, heck, I'll I'll take it over nothing at all. Um, ooh, there's a quest over there, and a collectible, and another quest. You know, what? I'm gonna check out that quest first, and then, and that collectible. Then we'll we'll end the stream because. <laughs> Big animal! Alright then. Wish me luck, my loves. Hello. Giant creature. Ooh, what the hell is that thing? Gamad wolf? That's a striped hyena.
Ow. You know what? I'm gonna draw him onto more open, wide open ground. Come on, doggy boy. Oh, good, he ordered in more wolves. That's nice. So glad I have these spears equipped. We had big dog. Oh, there you go. Oh, goody, no arrows. That's wonderful. And there's no way to like quickly switch out arrows in this game, is there? Whew. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna die. Wait, what's this? Punch it to death. Hey, Elaine, great timing. <laughs> no, I'm not going to punch it to death. Okay, so I'm guessing uh, once upon a time, there were like a lot of species um, from Africa that were in Europe as well. So wait, are striped hyenas even endemic to Africa? No, that's spotted, right? But yeah, um, judging by there was such a thing as European lion. Okay, that's stun attack. Anyway, or oh, is that a striped? Wait, I think this could be a wolf that hybridized with some other creature. Or oh, it's just a striped wolf, but it looks a lot like a wolf anyway. Okay, Assassin's Creed has not been scientifically or historically accurate for a, for a while now. This is not Assassin's Creed 1 anymore, so you know. But yeah, I'm guessing... Anyway. So... Aleph, have you finished my homework? That causes me pain too. Okay. Brought from Africa. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true because um, I've, I've actually come across cougars in this game that were actually brought in from, uh, from um, one, some Viking expedition to America. Snakes here too? What the heck? All right. Anyway, is there any loot I didn't pick up? Why is there a hole in that wall? I'm gonna explode that. But yeah, uh, what else? Hey, Elaine. You're not very zoology smart. Maybe gladiator fights. Thought the beast of Govardhan was a striped hyena, but that's it. Aleph, I swear to God, man, the amount of knowledge you have in this kind of thing, um, they better update the curriculum to keep up with you because 
I don't think education really... Oh, titanium. But seriously, man, like... Okay, so could have been from North Africa. No, that's what, like, I mean, if they... <laughs> I'm not like I'm I'm okay with the crossbow thing, but if if they were like I'm I'm concerned about the loss of consistency, you know? Like all of the ridiculous things you're able to do in these games. Oh goody, more snake. Okay, this is the way I came in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and... Whoa, there's a collectible over there. Why let that go to waste, right? Absolutely. Um, wait, I believe that education should be teacher-centric but student-driven. Do you understand? If, if it's student-centric, then it's going to revolve around a single student. And like, I've, I've read about this and... Oh yeah, there's chanterelles in Stardew Valley. Ooh, what is it? Okay, so I have to get up there and find a way to cut that... Um, uh, this thing down okay let's see if i can do it i think i can do it i'm almost there mama all right here we go Whee. made a hole in the ground what am i looking for Roman relic. The beast of Gavaudan. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Alif, can you tell us more about this beast, please? Because I'm curious. You guys hear that? Wolf house? Oh, okay. Wow. You guys have a cave? Whoa, too dark, too dark. Come on out. Ouch. <laughs> hey, Hafsa, what do you think? Do you think it should be student centric? Or student driven. And Alif, tell us more about this piece. I am the curious. And I might forget to Google it afterwards. Also, I'm sorry if like uh, I don't respond to your comments fast enough. But the comments features are a bit on the slow side, although I feel like my latency has improved. Ooh, new skills. You know what? I'm wearing the Huntsman armor, which is wolf aligned, so maybe I'll start working. Hell yeah, more assassination damage. More resistance to light attacks. Why not? Okay, time to go back to the village and uh, return the head to the hunter's guild. Is it a guild? Is it a top, a cabin? The beast of Gavardon was a wolf-like animal responsible for multiple deaths in 1700s. Northern France. Okay. Um, if it's student-centered, then it hands um, a significant amount of... Yes, exactly. Thank you, Hafsa. So, um, because of that, it would focus very much on the needs of individual students which um, which works, which is great if the student is, for example, homeschooled or anything. 
but I, I think, especially for like classroom hey, teachers boy. like us, Strange times these. Um, it helps that we are, so we facilitate the education, but it's the learning process is guided somehow by what the students want to learn or what the students are interested in, or we tell the students what to find, but the students do the finding. Currently, right now, we tell the students what to learn and we find it for them and then we just like put it in front of them, right? So that's neither of the uh, these two options. But I'm Petra chasing a white elf in the woods. Impressive. Never seen anything like it. That's it. All I get is a tattoo. Come on, son. Oh, okay. Petra's Ark. Oh, I think that's a hunting bow. What about this? Okay, so there's an angry cow somewhere? What do they call it? A battle sow. Anyway. What have you got for me today? All done. I brought yeah. something for you. Yes, guided discovery learning. Thank you. So that's it. For this. Good. This will help the settlement. I need five reindeer antlers, and I don't have any. I'm looking for this. Black bears. Ooh. Okay. I knew I could count on you. Ooh. Oh, right, like the, the, like the, the cult of Romulus. But this is 1700s. Thanks, Link. I have to go. See you. Say hi to Petra if you see her. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hunger strikes. A long time ago at a desert oasis. And that means, you know, um, I gotta get ready. But I'm thinking of doing streams almost every day or about three days a week uh, from next week, from, well, from the coming week onwards. But hey, I'll do another one tomorrow for sure because I'm going to use that as my excuse to play Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But for today, that's all from me. Before I go, since I still have five viewers, just wanted to encourage you guys to support the work of Moko by Champaka. Um, Waffles is in charge of that. Um, yeah, like serial killers aren't creepy enough as they are, right? Um, but more than anything, you get those cute little oxen, um, if you like, from the Instagram account. Um, I even got one for my sister and so on. Oh, werewolf. Oh, and a silver bullet. Oh, that is so cool. All right. Thank you guys so much. Today, I think, is one of the most active live streams I've ever done. I am so happy right now. It's all because of you guys. I love you so much. All right. Um, even if, um, some of you are, expect me to, to, to inflict pain upon myself by inflicting pain on large wild animals with my bare fists. So, um, I will defend my right to bear arms and love you too, Lumpy. Take care. So I love all of you as well. My dear, dear viewers, before you go, it's not too much trouble. Click like, um, and, uh, waffles. Could you please leave the Instagram accounts, uh, um, Instagram ID in the chat comments so people can see it. Also, I understand they are selling baked goods, which is great because I love getting baked. Wait, no, um, getting baked goods. Thank you so much. Um, if you want notifications of when I'm live, uh, I made that pun so many times. I I'm having trouble expiring it actually. So. I think more than anything. Ooh! I stayed idle long enough for the raven to come and land on me. Isn't he the cutest? Hey, Waffles. Um, why don't you tell your sister who's afraid of birds about this? Okay. Huh. Looks like I have my badass photo of the day. So, I'm going to take the picture. You guys, take care. Right. In the meantime, though, thank you again. Uh, you have words uh how much how much i appreciate you know um you guys showing up supporting me and all that um take care of yourselves stay safe out there 
Kobe's not gone yet, probably not going for a while, so that means we need to make adjustments, changes and whatnot. Um, and let's discuss those changes um, on the next live stream. So in the meantime, you guys, much love. Take care. Enjoy your dinners. Those who have been celebrating are celebrating, you know, uh, Gongzi Fa Tai. Uh, uh, happy Chinese New Year. Um, and he's wishing all of you a very happy and prosperous year of the ox. I couldn't ox for more. For you and for me. Okay. And the entire human race. Anyway, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is Auspex One. Out.